What is up, guys? Mr. Bagels here. Let's test run everything. Everything is a philosophical experience kind of game. Um, that's what you can kind of expect from it. Like I say every time, this is a test run video, meaning this is a first impression kind of gameplay video where we start out from the beginning of a game and we uh, play it for a little bit and see where it takes us. This game is a little weird uh, to get used to just from what I've seen <laughs> and uh, supposedly at one point it starts talking at you. The idea behind this game guys is to uh, kinda get lost in it a little bit and just to think about life and whatnot. So that's the kind of game that we're getting into so don't expect conventional type of uh, gameplay stuff. As you can see, we're starting fresh. What name is going to be? Um, Bobonius. Bobonius. I don't know why. I just wanted it to be that. Oh my lord. We're in space. Is this... Oh my god. I miss the words. Oh, we're moving. I just hold up. Okay, so we're just kind of moving. Think. How long has this been going on? Ooh. Where do I come from? Where did this come from? I am a donkey. How fitting. I've been known to be a bit of a jackass at times. Oh my lord, Crystal. Crystal, hey. And that's how we walk. Oh my lord. Thought info. Hello, what are you? There's no thought to open. Hold A. Whoa. It's a whole day to move faster, I guess. Which way are you supposed to be going? This way? Looks like it wants us to go this way. I don't know. There's like a line and a circle. So I'm guessing we're supposed to go that way. Oh my lord. Donkey, that's not how you're supposed to run. Whatever. In the morning, I'm making waffles. Are those bears? Hello, bears. What have you to say to thee? Huh? Bears? You look like you've been doing a lot of drugs. Oh my god! <laughs> they lay down. Oh, that's fantastic. Alright. Moving along. Chickens? Are those chickens? What are those? Oh, uh, no, those would be monkeys. Hello, monkeys. Those would be gorillas. Can we jump off? Woo! Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. Oh no, don't, don't tell me I'm stuck. Okay. What do the other buttons do? Nothing, apparently. Oh my lord, more monkeys. So we're being pulled towards this. Or is there something else that I'm being pulled towards? Aha! There's a thing over here. What are thou thing? Tree. Press A near the icon. I can't listen to it, it's too high up. Whoa, look at this party going on over here. Peacocks. Hi, Babonius. You found me. Finally. We've been waiting for you for such a long time. Notice my my thought had a blah, blah, blah icon and everything icon. That's what that's just what we'll call it. Look out for others with it with this. We're here to show you what you're able to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck. Alright, so we gotta find more more of those symbols. There's a thought cloud up there. I'm not sure if that circle is like pulling us towards something or or what's the deal with that. I don't really know. Well, oh, that's that sucked. I just fell on the hill. Oh my god. Apparently, guys, this game boasts an autoplay feature. Let's go ahead and put use that really quick. I don't know. Autoplay, stay in one area. And travel between scale, okay. 
Listen, thoughts will be opened rarely. Weird. You are a donkey. Thanks. I don't know how that feature works. Alright, so we're going this way. Get on over here. Is that a rabbit? Look at the tiny little rabbit rolling around. That's not what you're meant to do, rabbit. You're supposed to hop. You crazy. You crazy, rabbit. Where'd that thing go? Where did it go? I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Uh, everything sings. Singing is how all things communicate. Singing helps things find or avoid one another. It deepens bonds between some things and separates, separates others. It's how things announce their existence. So, sing. Sing all day long. I want to hear what you sound like. And so does everything else. If only things hear you, they might sing back. Press R3 when near. Lovely. Fantastic. Let's go find those rabbits. Don't you yell at me. Don't you yell at me, monkey. You make squirrel noises. Let's go sing to more things. How about you? I'm singing while upside down. I am, am a master. What are you? More donkeys? No, those are horses. Get away from them. Horses are especially racist. Everybody knows this. Um, let's see. We got a lot of thought clouds. I'm not seeing the other marker that we need, so I think we need to go around a bit. Let's go talk to this tree. First, I want to hear what the bears sound like. Oh! Ah. Remember this place and remember what you are. Keep in mind as you go beyond here. You might need to find a way back to it. Okay. Why? Why would I need to come back? Baby, come back. Doodle doodle do. You can blame it all on me. Alright. So it looks like our goal is this tree right here. Hey, how far back do you think donkeys go? You might not always feel it, but you took trillions of generations of donkeys getting mixed up all the way back to forever. It's incredible, and you made it through and finally arrived here. The other donkeys around here are reflections of you from back then. Each... That was weird. Each with their own dreams and their own lives to live. As you meet other donkeys, you will sometimes feel inseparable from them. Don't you sing to me, tree. Then find where you really start and end up to you. Where you really start ends up to you. Whatever. Huh. Can't sing to the tree. There's other donkeys in the area. Look at this big mess over here. Let's go back to these peacocks. I want to make them make a noise. Haha. <laughs> uh, it's simple, but enjoyable. All right, where are we going to next? Look at these big weird trees. Wow. So I guess our next thing is to find the other donkeys. Whoa. Did I find them? I think I did. Oh, God, shut up. Never mind. Jeez, I kind of wish I didn't find you. What are these guys, wolves? Ah! Don't eat me. Don't eat me, wolves. Wolves don't eat donkeys, right? Dang, that's a lot of donkeys. I'd like to think that that is pulling me in the direction that I'm supposed to go, but I don't think that that's the case. I wonder if it wants you to have like a moment of reflection as you're going through this or something. Drive by. Drive by. I'm really glad. So, there's keyboard and controller support for this game, guys, if you haven't picked up on that. Um, donkey on an adventure. Oh, these guys. 
Bananas. Oh my god. The rock just sang to me. I think a rock just sang to me. Don't you sing to me, monkeys. Okay, I'm not seeing any, like, objective or anything. Let's just stand still for a second and look around. Okay. We'll keep going this way. I don't think it really matters which way we go. As long as we keep moving, right? Doesn't matter the outcome. As long as you keep moving. Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Shut up, horses. I thought you were cows for some reason. Alright. Where the heck am I going? Other donkeys are nearby. Oh, I'm supposed to join them. God, I don't... You know what? It helps you if you learn to read, guys. Reading is really helpful, especially when you're playing a video game. Um, if, especially if you want to do what you're supposed to do in said video game. Uh, it helps if you read. Uh, just keep that in mind. That's just, just a tip. Just use that as a tip. Matt, if you want to do well in a game, you might want to read. All right. Oh my lord. Oh my god, we're a herd of rabid donkeys now. Let's go. We're a gang. Another donkey is joining. Press X to join. I've already joined. Whoa, look at this. Our circle has filled up. It's time for us to rampage. We're going to rampage across the countryside. We're a roving gang. One of the donkeys needs a headband. We need to have like some. We needed like a Glock. We can be a roaming donkey gang. Here, check this out. Boy, that's loud and annoying. Of course. Right, what do we got down here? Downhill. Alright. Come, my donkey friends. Let's go. We have waffles to make. Many, many waffles. This is very strange, but I can like getting that relaxing feel from it. Dang it, can't see what I'm looking at here. There you are. Over time, you might find there's no right or wrong path to take you. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go their own direction. Because you can't control everything at once. At least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. Release some donkeys by pressing B. See you, donkeys. We want to spread them out, though. We want to spread the donkeys out. We don't want to leave them all in, like, one area. There you go. Look at that. There's a whole line of donkeys. I'm spreading the... I'm, I'm trying to spread my empire of donkeys. I think I have to let go of all of them. Back down to just me. Just me. Alright. Alright. On to the future. I feel like we move so much faster when it's just us. V button lets you release things from your flock, but right now you can't do that. There's nothing to let go of. There's always something to let go of. Things that we hold deep inside our own hearts. Things we hold deep inside. Let go. Let go of those things. You don't need them. All they're doing is causing you pain. Let them go. Bear, you're alone. Care to join me? I want to join other donkeys. Babonius. What kind of name is that supposed to be? Babonius, Babonius, Babonius. It sounds really weird. That's the point, okay? Hello, up upside down rabbit. Okay. Where is our next... There it is. Oh, it's right behind us. Hey, 
What do you make of all the small things around here? All the plants and little creatures. Are they here for you, or are they here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other. Because you can only see things from a, from a donkey's perspective. Just as I can only see things from an elm's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Um, L2 to descend down. Whoa! <gasps> I am grass. That rough grass is looking lonely. Press X to join it. Really? <gasps> I can join the grass together. Oh my lord. I can descend more. What else can I become? I'm already grass, you big nerd. Now what? Aha! An objective point. Am I... I don't see any grass rolling around, so I have a feeling I'm not. Hi, friend. Looks like you've been you've seen things from a little thing's point of view. Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from around from the other way around, to see things from bigger things point of view. Out of all the points of view you find, which one is the right one? Whoa. Okay. Where's the, whoa? Look at the donkey in the background on head. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at that. Can I become a pinecone? I want to be a pinecone. Oh my god, and it rolls. This is so much better than being a donkey. I can be a rolling pinecone. If I speed it up, oh my god. Can I be that frog? I want to be the frog. I don't want to be a mushroom. I want to be that frog. Dang it, it's fine. I'll be a mushroom. Does a mushroom roll? Oh my, whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Can I be the bug? Yes, I'm a bug. What now? What are you gonna do now? Oh my god, I'm a hoppy bug. Dude, you did a sweet spin. This is pretty cool. Whoa, grasshopper. I can't be a grasshopper, man. Whatever. Is it ascending? That's why, because it's it's bigger than what I am. Now I'm a cricket. You can be an acorn. Oh, it just rolls like the pine cone, but this is rad. I love it. I can see now why people... It's like relaxing, because it's like there's really no real objective. You're just kind of doing whatever you want to do. And I like that. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um... Am I pollen? What the heck am I now? Can I descend? Open pollen category. Nice. Look at this. <gasps> I can get smaller. What am I now? Schizophrenopombre. I don't even know what that is. I look like a peanut, though. Is there anything smaller in the area I could be? God, this blur is, like, really killing me right now. Okay. I don't think there's anything smaller I can get to. It wants me to get bigger. What is this over here? Yeah, I just look like a peanut. <laughs> it's like, like a packing peanut. There you go. It's like a packing peanut. What is this? Can I run into it? Yeah, I can. What is this? Everything is set to default into mode. Morning glory pollen. Okay. I want to get bigger though. I need to get. I need to get bigger, guys. This is not good. There we go. What is this? Plant matter. Oh my lord. What's the matter, plant matter? Perfect. What am I now? Am I a stick? Wood splinter. I'm a splinter of wood. Oh my god. Is that a bug? What is this? I need to catch this bug. No, I want to... Okay, I can just hit ascend and it'll, it'll take me up. Okay, so I'm back to being an acorn. <laughs> oh my god, that was a trip. Oh, just ran over that ladybug. Um, That was freaking weird. Alright. But that is the name of the game, I believe. Um, Let's go, what is this? 
Ah, of course. I am, uh, I am Barley. What is that? What is that? There's so many things you can be. You can be <gasps> everything. I was bored yesterday. For half a second, I felt great after it. I would love to be bored all the time. Only a few things get to be bored. You're right. That is... Wow. Not many things get to be bored, guys. I want to be a different animal. I don't want to select any of these things, please. Where did it want me to go? I think it wants me to go somewhere now. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think I'm supposed to get bigger and bigger. What is that? Monkeys? I don't want to be a monkey. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Perfect. This isn't what I want. What there is. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject ah, matter here we are. of this seminar is. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Because it's too fundamental to give it a title. Wait a minute. I'm going to talk about what there is. I'm a squirrel. Yes. Now, the first thing, though, oh uh, that we have to... Goodbye, do donkey. I don't want to be a donkey anymore. ...to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about. Look at this squirrel going. <laughs> ideas of the world uh, which are built into the very nature of the language we use and of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using the word myth to mean simply something untrue, but to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth is an image. I like in how terms of which we try to make sense of the world. You're a gray wolf. Wow. You are a myth. I almost feel like, honestly, I'm going to say this. I don't take this the wrong way, guys. I almost feel like doing a video for this game doesn't do it justice. Because it's one of those games where it's supposed to, you're supposed to sit there and kind of have your own, um, just like moment. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I, you know what? I, I take, I take back everything I said. This is fantastic. I could join a bunch of bananas. Or we have a song, guys. We're a bunch of roaming bananas. <laughs> I, take, I take it back. I take back everything I just said. We are now a gang of roaming bananas. No, I just mean that this game is one of those games where, like, when he's talking and stuff like that, you kind of... You take it in and you kind of let it soak in and, and let it um, kind of help you analyze your own life and kind of think about what it means to you it's very much in in the similar case to um the dao the dao de jing or the tao as some people uh inappropriate or some people call it they're not supposed to though it's the dao uh daoism is very much the idea of just being just like just just being i'm not gonna sit here and say i know I'll, all i've done is like read a book but the idea behind the book for the dao is to like they tell you when you're reading it or if you're gonna read it that you should read one passage a day think about it for the whole day and then come back and read what people what it meant to other people because there's this version of a it's, it's red pine or something for the Dow um, it they want you to kind of think about what it means to you and how it how it blends into your perspective and stuff like that and then see how it blended into other people's perspectives and how they how they received it so to speak i was really excited about the spring but now that it's here i've had enough of it yeah that's how i feel about the summer god it's hot um but yeah so with the Tao, it's kind of like you're taking in each passage you're taking in each thing and and thinking about what it means to you and how it pertains to your own life 
Um, and, and I get the feeling that this game is very similar to that. You know what? I should probably stop being bananas. I should probably stop being bananas, but I really just want to stay bananas. So, but it's going to take longer to get places. Uh-oh. Am I being chased? Is that a monkey? What is that? Hello, monkey. Look at me. I'm a banana. Oh, you can't get me, bunny. Bunny. I meant monkey, but whatever. A world that's you, people. As a human being, you grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way that an apple grows off an apple tree. So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world that peoples. And so the existence of people the mountain is, cutting is off the subtitles of the kind of universe we live in. Just as hair on a head is symptomatic of what's going on in the organism. But we have been brought up not to feel that we belong in the world. So our popular speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't. You came out of it. We say, face facts. We talk about encounters with reality. As if it was a head-on meeting of completely alien agencies. And the average person has the sensation that he is a somewhat that exists inside a bag of skin, a center of consciousness, which looks out at this thing and what the hell is it going to do to me? Uh, I recognize you. You kind of look like me. And uh, I've seen myself in a mirror. And uh, you look like you might be people. <laughs> huh. So maybe you're intelligent. Maybe you can love too. And uh, maybe perhaps you're all right. Some of you are anyway. You've got the right color of skin, or you have the right religion, or whatever it is, you're okay. But there are all those people over in Asia, Africa, and they may not really be people. When you want to destroy someone, you always define them as unpeople. Wow. Wow. Holy crap, man. That's nuts. Oh my god, this game is like really getting me. Oh, cool, if you just let it go, like you'll float around and talk to things. I have an amazing imagination for everything except my own. Uh oh, I, if you let it sit, it goes into autoplay. Inevitable non existence. That's kind of cool. Okay, this tree wants me to do something. But I want to say something about what he just said. The idea is like, it's like when you paint other people as the villain when really it's probably, it might just be you who's the villain you're at work or you're in your day-to-day -day life someone cuts you off in traffic but you don't know what's going on in that person's life for them they're probably thinking like oops my bad well you know they're, they'll be fine like you know they're probably thinking they cut you off but they might have had their turn signal on for longer than you realize or maybe they cut you off and they're in a rush because they're going to the hospital or something it's perspective you know it's the idea of perspective perspective is such a wild thing because people don't really realize that like in their own perspective we're the hero but in someone else's perspective we could be the villain it's nuts all right what does this have to say hello i'm right next to you now life mostly involves going out and entangling yourself with others but i want to show you another way of getting mixed up a very beautiful thing you can do and that's dancing to dance is to move in a pattern and not towards anywhere in particular. To make yourself the destination and to enjoy never quite arriving. Dancing always takes two, but the more the merrier. Everything dances a little differently, so try doing, doing it with different things. Join two or more things, then stop moving and press Y to dance. Oh, wow, okay. First off, I want to ascend. I want to ascend into space and see what happens. Whoa, I'm an island. I'm a moving island now. Holy crap. We're hauling. We're a fast moving island. Can we dance as islands? Look at this. Oh my god. Amazing. This is fantastic. Okay, so I think that joining with two things is going to be easier. If, um, whoa, this is nuts. So this is like, look, we just created our own landmass. <gasps> Snow peaked. I think we have to look down. Okay, I get it. I'm trying to descend here. We have a noise. Does 
descend. Let's descend on this new rocky terrain. Oh, it's like the same, but there's snow. Okay, so we gotta move around a little bit before it lets us go down. You can't just go right down. Aha! What do we have here? Am I a bunny now? I am once again grass. Sheep! Come here, sheep. Come forth. I don't want to be that. I want to be a sheep. How come I can't be the sheep? Is it descending? No. There we go. Sheep. Ba. Ba ba. Alright, let's go like this. We're gonna go over here first and we're gonna start this next one. This is what the game is, guys. This is this is pretty much from what I've what I've seen, this is the whole game. It's just kind of making you think. That's kind of the idea behind it. We have this hostility to the external world because of the superstition, the myth, the absolutely unfounded theory that you yourself exist only inside your skin. Now, I want to propose another idea altogether. Billions of years ago, you were a big bang. But now, you're a complicated human being. But so, we define ourselves as being only that. If you think that you are only inside your skin, you define yourself as one very complicated Dancing. little curly cue, way out on the edge of that explosion, way out in space and way out in time. And when then we cut ourselves off and don't feel that we are still the Big Bang. But you are. Depends how you define yourself. Huh. You are actually, if, if this is the way things started, if there was a Big Bang in the beginning, you're not something that is a result of the Big Bang. You're not something that is a sort of puppet on the end of the process. You are still the process. You are the Big Bang, the original force of the universe coming on as whoever you are. See, when I meet you, I see not just what you define yourself as, Mr. So-and-so, Miss So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so. I see every one of you as the primordial energy of the universe coming on at me in this particular way. I know I'm that too. But we've learned to define ourselves as separate from it. Wow. It's interesting, like, his, the points that are coming across from each one of these little segments. It's like, from right there, it's the idea that we are all basically the same, but as we continue to exist, like, I, the way I take it is that, like, as we exist, we create this idea that we're not the same and that we're unique and we're all our own thing we're no we didn't come from the same things we didn't come from the same places when really we we did like we all technically came from you know atoms and whatnot so i don't know there was a goat i don't want to be a goat though yeah here goat all right I wanna now that we've done this whole dance thing that he wanted us to do, because this is this is what it wanted us to do right here. Do our little dance. We have a figure eight dance. Nice. Another sheep is ready to be born. What? <gasps> There's a baby sheep! And it's joining the dance! Oh my god. The eyes at the top of the screen show when new arrivals are ready. Oh my god. So we can have a we're a baby sheep! Look at a little baby sheep. Can we have baby planet? Hold A to keep producing more sheep. Now you got it. Look at this. We're creating a horde of sheep. Soon we will be battle ready. Oh my goodness gracious, we have so many sheep. <laughs> Baby sheep noises. Whoa, you see that sparkle? You might be lost. If so, you can head to settings and reset the area. Alright. Check this out. Oh my god, look at this. Look how qu <laughs> look how fast the baby sheep spin. It's so funny. Alright. Where to now, huh? I think now we should ascend. I want to become a planet. Let's become a planet. Can I be a stapler? I want to be a stapler. Alright, we're ascending. 
There's nothing larger than you nearby. Booloney, dude. There's a mountain right here. Now I'm a tree. And the sheep will now spread out and live their life. I can become multiple trees. Look at this. Can we can we breed as trees? Let's do a tree breeding exercise, guys. Look at this. We're we're reforesting the world with palm trees. Fantastic. Trees are coming out of nowhere. Oh my god, that's so great. <laughs> this game's funny. <laughs> it's uh, the little like the philosophical side of it is really cool and interesting. But then, like, the side where you're moving around becoming things is just really funny. It's like, okay. <laughs> oh, hey. What I would call a kind of a basic problem we've got to go through first is to understand that there are no such things as things. That is to say, separate things. That that is only a way of talking. And if you can understand this, you're going to have no further problems. Well, planet. I once asked a group of high school children, what do you mean by a thing? And first of all, they gave me all sorts of synonyms. They said it's an object, which is simply another word for a thing. It doesn't tell you anything about what you mean by a thing. And finally, a very smart girl who was in the group said a thing is a noun. And she was quite right. A noun isn't a part of nature, it's a part of speech. There are no nouns in the physical world. There are no separate things in the physical world either. See, the physical world is wiggly. The clouds, mountains, trees, people are all wiggly. And uh, only when human beings get working at things, they build buildings in straight lines and try and make out that the world isn't really wiggly. But here are we, sitting in this room, all built on straight lines, but each one of us is as wiggly as all get out. <gasps> I'm a boat on land. I'm a land boat. Can I become anything smaller here? No? How about this? Oh, I am the island now. So I could become a boat. What about now? Anything, anything smaller besides that boat? Descend onto this. I want to see what... No, not that, you big dingle-donger. Jeez. No, I want to go to Ice Continent. No, I want to descend onto the Ice Continent. There we go. I am a rock. So I moved the planet further away from the sun, and now things have gotten colder. Whoa, look at all these reindeer. Is that a mammoth? Dude, I want to be a mammoth. Can I be a mammoth? No, I don't want to be grass. Dang it. Wow, that is a big mammoth butt right there, guys. That is a big old mammoth butt. I want to be a mammoth. You are now a mammoth. Burr. Burr. I'm hauling. Whoa, what is this? Is there a human here? There's a tent. That could be a tent. Look at this. Oh my god. Runaway tent. <laughs> the first cars who would have thought the first cars were actually tents who would have thought can I be a campfire I want to be a campfire I want to be a campfire look at this can I burn the forest down I'm curious you are a campfire can I burn this mammoth's butt huh can I I don't think so I am a campfire can I dance with other campfires I want to really bad I want to mate with campfires and have baby campfires. Hey, look at that. Was that a snow fox? Oh, man. Now I want to be a snow fox. A snox, if you will. Look at you. Uh-oh. Uh Am I burning things as I'm running by them? I don't know. I think things are afraid of me, though, because I'm a fire. And I shouldn't be moving. Whoop. Those are actually like snow wolves. Penguins? What are you doing here, penguin? I'm looking for another fire. I want to mate with another fire and see what happens. Very curious. I don't know 
if I'm gonna find one. I don't know. No, I don't want to become something else. Aha! Here we go. We'll find. We'll go to this real quick. We can listen to this while we look for another fire. Now then, when you uh, want to get control of something that wiggles, it's pretty difficult, isn't it? You try and pick up a fish in your hands, and the fish is wiggly and it slips out. What do you do to get hold of the fish? You use a net. And so the, the net is the basic thing we have for getting hold of the wiggly world. A net is something regular. And I can number the holes in a net. What? So a net many, has holes? So holes up, so many Stronger. holes across. And if I can number these holes, I can count exactly where each wiggle is in terms of a hole in that net. But in order to do that, I've got to break up the wiggle into bits. And I've got to call this a specific bit, and this the next bit of the wiggle, and this the next bit, and this the next bit of the wiggle. And so these bits are things which I mark out in order to talk about the wiggle, in order to measure it, and therefore in order to control it. But in nature, in fact, in the physical world, the wiggle isn't bitted. So the world doesn't come thing. You and I are all as much continuous with the physical universe as a wave is continuous with the ocean. Huh. The ocean waves and the universe peoples. And as the wave, I wave at you and say, you, the world is waving at me with you. And saying, uh, hi, I'm oh. here. But the way we feel and sense our existence, being based on a myth, that we are made, that we are parts, that we are things. Our consciousness has been influenced so that each one of us does not feel that. We feel we have been hypnotized, literally hypnotized, by social convention into feeling and sensing that we exist only inside our skins. That we are not the original band, but just something out on the end of it. And therefore we are scared stiff. My wave is going to disappear. And I'm going to die. And that would be awful. I'm going to move really close to the sun. And I want to see what happens to the planet. That, oh, that's a big topic that I think hits home with a lot of people. Is a lot of people, you know, they're afraid of death. They don't know what to expect. People don't like to talk about death because they don't know what to think uh, when it comes down to it. It's a scary topic. The idea of essentially, no oh, everything's fine, actually. I thought the whole planet would be melted, but I was wrong. What are these weird looking shaped freaking things? All right, let's look on here and see if there is any like life out anywhere. Oh my lord, this place looks really weird. You're a large rock. What if I go in the water? What happens if I do this? Oh. <laughs> ah yes, a swimming rock. How oh, very fitting. There are animals. Alright, well, that was wrong. I thought that because we got close to the sun, all of them would, would die. <laughs> so I was curious. Anyways, let's become something bigger. I don't want to be a fish. Actually, I kind of do want to be a fish. Is there any fishes? I'm a duck. Oh my god, this is superior to anything I've ever been. Hello, fellow ducks. I'm a mallard. What do you want from me, huh? Nothing. I want to get on land and see what happens. See if he just does the whole flipping thing or if it does something else. I'm just cruising, man. Look at this. Just cruising. And, oh my god, you just cruise on the land, too. I feel like a car. This is awesome. I'm so glad I got to be a duck. Oh my god. Quack, quack, quack. Alright. Anyways, we must be something bigger, though. I don't want to descend. I'm meaning to ascend. Pom, pom, pine. I've already been one of these. Ascend. Go back to being a planet, please. Can I rapidly ascend? I want to rapidly ascend. 
go rapidly ascend. All right, can I become the sun? Oh my lord, I am the sun. What now, sun? Oh, cruising super fast. You are the sun. What is this? What is this, an asteroid? You are a mesoplanet. A whole mesoplanet. See, what's cool, too, is let's go over here and get this real quick. Wow, that is really far away, apparently. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I've gotten, like, lost in this game, I swear. It's just, it's relaxing, and it's very interesting. It makes you think. It makes you use your brain. You are a fluke. What? You are a separate event. And you run from the maternity ward to the crematorium, and that's it, baby. Now, why does anybody think that way? There's no reason to, because it isn't even scientific. It's just a myth. And it's invented by people who wanted to feel a certain way. They want to play a certain game. Camus said there is only really one serious philosophical question which is whether or not to commit suicide. Should you or not commit suicide? Whoa. This is a good question. Why go on? And you only go on if the game is worth the candle. Now, the universe has been going on for an incredible long time. And so, really, uh, a, a satisfactory theory of the universe has to be one that's worth betting on. That's a very, it seems to me, absolutely elementary common sense. If you make a theory of the universe which isn't worth betting on, why bother? Just commit suicide. But if you want to go on playing the game, you've got to have an optimal theory for playing the game. Well, that was kind of a dark topic. <laughs> I think that the idea though is it, it gets I don't know I don't know what to say on that that's a really serious topic um, is that a cow finally I get to be a cow um, I don't know I think that in our lives it, it's our duty to find our purpose and you might not directly find it but in the process of searching for it um, you'll find something worth living for um, and even if that thing is simply just waking up seeing the sun every day saying hello to someone I think that that's I don't know I've always been weird in, in certain feelings is that a lighthouse what is a lighthouse doing here I'm now a lighthouse can I become a bird I want to become a bird I'm, I'm a moving lighthouse now I'm trying to stay around these birds because I want to become a bird. I really like flying in games. It gives you that sense of freedom. Oh! Yes! I have become a bird! Finally. Oh, I did some spinnies. Nice. I'm a crow. I can do dive bombs. I don't know. I've always been the kind of person where... Uh, I've known a lot of people who have told me that like it freaks them out to look up at, at the stars and stuff like that but like they've told me that it makes them feel like they're small and insignificant but I've always kind of felt like that I like that feeling because it gives you the freedom and gives you the, the kind of knowledge that you don't have to do anything there's nothing you have to do in life nothing you don't have to live you don't have to do anything your life is what you make it and what you do with it now that being said most people do, oh my god, Stonehenge. Um, most people will do, you know, you get a job, you survive, you do what you have to survive. But hopefully, in surviving, you're able to allow yourself the ability to do what you want to do. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just love that feeling of, we're so small that what we do it doesn't really matter and we can do anything. And there's nothing we have to do. Um, 
as long as we survive. I don't know. Just my thoughts. This game's making me think, okay? It's making me think, and I'm, I'm going into monologues. Where'd you go, message? Where did he go? It was just here. And now it's gone. It was on the back of a cow. Excuse me. Alright, we're going to play this one, and then I think that is where we will tie this up. I like being a bird. I don't want to change from anything. It makes me think of playing air. The best part was flying around. Alright. If there is any such thing at all as intelligence and love and beauty, well, you found it in other people. In other words, it exists in us as human beings. And as I said, if it is there in us, it is symptomatic of the scheme of things. We are as symptomatic of the scheme of things as the apples are symptomatic of the apple tree or the rose of the rose bush. The earth is not a big rock infested with living organisms any more than your skeleton is bones infested with cells. The Earth is geological, yes, but this geological entity grows people. And our existence on the Earth is a symptom of the solar system and its balances, as much as the solar system in turn is a symptom of our galaxy. And our galaxy in its turn is a symptom of the whole company of galaxies. Goodness only knows what that's in. We just had a baby building. We just made a baby building. Oh my god. Look at this. More like a bunch of diglets. And the three big ones are Doug Trio. Anyways, good lord. This game really makes you think, guys. This is that is what this game is, though. This is where we're gonna stop. I really wish I could go back to being bananas. Actually, before we stop, sorry, I, I know I just said that, but this is what we're gonna do. This is another thing you can do. You can go things. You can go through the things that you've been. Stone tower. It could be buildings, it could be a beehive hut. Oh, that's what I was, okay. Roundhouse. You can go through the things that you've been. Banana bunch. And I believe... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. No? I thought that you could become those things, but I guess I'm wrong. Favorite the bananas. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. I love, I love the bananas. Dang it. I really wish I could go back to being bananas before we end this. I, I honestly I thought that you could literally just set it up so that it would um, you could choose what you wanted to be and it would like teleport you over to it but I guess I was wrong um, oh well not that big of a deal we can end we can end this as a big beehive hut. look at all these animals over here perfect now these animals have homes because we're here we're here but you can yeah so you can do other things like you do autoplay dance rarely you can set it to do all these things for you frequently so it's be thoughts will be opened often um sing join release and it'll it'll automatically do all this for you so you can kind of just sit back and just and watch it as if it was a movie or you can move around and play it and and do whatever you want to do it's a very interesting game i don't think i've ever played anything like this or oh my god wait a minute wait a minute i just realized something can we become this this like fence over here oh no i can't get back up here can i how did I get up here to begin with? Oh yeah, I was a bird. I want to go like this. Make me the tree. Okay, I'm up here. Let me be things. Let me be things. Right. Yes. Oh my god, are you serious? I am now a fence. Oh, I'm a stone wall. I can bring other stone walls into the mix. We can play snake. 
Oh, look at this. Let's spin around. Spin around and find our end. There you go. Like this and perfect. We are now a perfectly cut off area. This is the best. This is the best. Holy crap. What else could we ever become? I think if you hold down A, then you can start. Yeah, there you go. So if you start making yourself like sprint, that's when you can um, do what you got to do. Um, and with the sun. Perfect. Perfect way to end. There you have it, guys. This is everything. This is going to be where we stop with everything for today. If you would like to pick up everything, you can do so on Steam. Uh, or you can try and find it in a bundle. I'm sure it pops up every once in a while. Everything, like I said, is like a philosophical game. So if you like the idea of just kind of... Don't open that, please. Um, just sitting back and kind of seeing, just listening and watching, you can let it autoplay. Um, or if you just want a game that is kind of relaxing and just makes you think, there you go. This is your game. Um, other than that, that's about the gist. So... Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, you can pick this up on Steam. And uh, I hope you will join me next time for our next um, freaking crazy adventure, whatever it is. I don't, gosh, I, this game has just got me in such a weird place. Like, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever played a game quite like this at all. That's like made me just really just think. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to go out in the world now, and I'm going to try and turn myself into a plant or a bunch of bananas. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you will join me next time. I am Mr. Bagels. <gasps> we can get to be bigger? We're a universe now. Can we get bigger? One second. Okay, no, we're not done yet. We can be bigger. What's bigger than a universe? A whole galaxy? Holy French toast, what the heck are we? Uh, you are a feedback sphere. Can we get bigger? There's there's still nothing larger. Try moving around. Whoa. But it let us... This is freaking crazy, man. Oh my god. What has happened? Oh, rough stop. There's nothing bigger than a feedback sphere. Oh, wait, what is this? Holy crap, what are we now? This game just went full tilt, man. Oh my god. You're a convex stellated polyhedron. Open to the 3D category. <gasps> I can ascend even further? Now what are we? Wait a minute, did we go full circle? What are we? I am oxygen. I am now a euglygen. Wait a minute. What is that? Is that a cricket? Oh my god, what the heck are we? Ugh, this one's ugly. A Daphne Pulix. Let's ascend. Is it gonna happen? Yes, it is. It happened exactly what I thought. We went full cycle. We got so big that we became something small. And we, we went we went so big and the idea is that like our whole wide wide universe is so big to us, but so small to something much bigger than us. Holy crap. What a perfect way to end. Good lord. This game just really just keeps throwing curveballs. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me next time. I am Mr. Bagels. Goodbye. <laughs>